Moving away from the plates for a minute, here are the tie rods that will hold the assembly together. There's about 18 of them. They're 12 inches long, quarter inch threaded bar stock, and each end has a nut, a lock washer, and a flat washer. Next we'll go over to the electronics. Here's a bank of capacitors. These are 4700 microfarad, 400 volt capacitors. Uh, Steve used eight of them. He suggested uh, I only needed four. His didn't quite have the capacity that these do, and he thought that these would be adequate. So we're going to go with four instead of the eight like Steve used. I kind of wrapped them around because my final assembly is kind of limited for space. I've got just one, one table to work on to put this all together. Here's the electrical box. And it's a little bit bigger than Steve's, so I'd have some more room. And we'll go through it quickly here. I'll turn it around. Get some good light on it. Alright, it's basically got a 30 amp double throw breaker in the center. And it's got two bridge rectifiers sitting on heat sinks. There's one. There's the other. And here's the pigtail coming in. There's a 220 plug on the end that I kind of built from parts I had laying around. We'll go through the box here quickly. And see what's going on. Alright, squatting down on the floor. Alright, well look, here comes the the two power lines into the box from the pigtail. And they go into the breaker. And from the breaker they go from the breaker they go into the bus bar that the breaker sits on. One here. And coming up into the bridge rectifier. It's a little hard to do. And the other side. Let's see if I can do this one. The other side. Bus bar. And here's the other side. Oops. There we go. The other side's over here in the corner. And feeding up in the bridge rectifier. And I'll take an easy one for a change. Here's the here's the ground wire coming in. Anchored to the box. Here's the common wire coming in. There. Split. And one going to each bridge rectifier. Okay. And the outputs. And here's one output along the edge. And it goes all the way out there. Right there. And here's, here's another output from the other side. Positive. Uh, the, red and, the red and black outputs are just reference. You know, it doesn't matter which is positive and negative. But, so I, I just use two colors to make it easy. Uh, so here's the other one going over here to this side of the split bus bar. Here's the split in the bus bar. We'll swing around and get that. And likewise, you can kind of kind of follow the two wires that go from the other side. Here's the other side. Here's the negative, we'll call, output going around the bin into this bus bar. And here's the here's the here's the so-called negative from this side going into that bus bar. I'll just scan this a little bit for you, so you can kind of see what's going on in here. And give you an idea. I'll get the whole shot in here as best I can, so you can see the wiring. Tail. And that's about it for now.